vapor pressure is the amount of pressure that results when you have a liquid in a container and some of the liquid evaporates into a gas and that gas creates what we know what is known as vapor pressure. So let's start off with a simple example, water. Let me draw in the water molecules for you. And as you know, water attracts itself through um, hydrogen bonds. So let me just draw those in. W hydrogen bonds are pretty strong. So the water molecules are going to want to stay here in the liquid phase rather than escape out into the gas, unless they're really fast water molecules with a lot of kinetic energy. We'll say that water has a relatively, I guess, low vapor pressure compared to the next example I'm going to give you. And that's going to be CH4, methane. So CH4 looks like this. It's a non-polar molecule, so it's not going to have very strong attractive forces with itself. So let's say this is liquid methane, which means that this container would have to be really um, cold. Kind of looks like that. And we'll say that CH4's vapor pressure is really high at room temperature because the attractive forces between the CH4 molecules are relatively little compared to water. So they're going to escape out sooner than the water molecules. So at room temperature, we'll say that CH4 has a, a large vapor pressure compared to water. So here's a pretty tricky one for you. Which substance has the highest vapor pressure at a given temperature? And you have CH4 and CAH18. So this is different than the one that we had earlier with CH4 and water, because both of these molecules are nonpolar. Non so we can't compare nonpolar to polar attractive forces. This time we have to look at something called polarizability. Polarizability. In polarizability, is basically how easy it is for a molecule to be induced into a dipole. So the bigger the electron cloud of a molecule, the higher its polarizability. So let me just draw out a nucleus and its electron cloud. All of the electrons are moving around freely. And let's say that this electron cl cloud is pretty big. And there's another molecule here with a pretty small electron cloud. So this one has less electrons. Since there's so many electrons here, they're all going to be moving around, moving around, and that's going to make it be induced to a dipole easier and quicker. So if there's another big uh, molecule with a big electron cloud, uh, all of these molecules, I, I mean, all of these electrons can move around and repel other ones. So let's say there's a bunch of electrons here. These electrons are going to be repelled and that's going to induce a dipole. So now on this side, since the electrons are repelled, that's going to create a partial positive charge. While over here, since there's a lot of electrons, there's going to be a partial negative charge. So there's going to be some electrostatic forces in between these two molecules. But over here with a small electron cloud, uh, there's less electrons. So there's less of a chance that a dipole is going to be induced. All right, so the greater the polarizability, or the greater the number of electrons there's going to be, the stronger the attractive forces are going to be between the molecules. So what we do to measure out polarizability is look at the molar mass of the um, atoms in each molecule. So carbon has a molar mass of 12 grams, and hydrogen has a molar mass of 1 gram. We have one carbon, so that's going to be 12, plus four hydrogens, and each one of them is one gram. So that's going to be four, giving us a molar mass of 16 grams per mole. Then carbon, eight times 12 is 96, plus 18, because we have 18 times one. And that's going to give us 114 grams per mole. All right, so now, Obviously, CaH18 has a much larger molar mass than CH4, 
So we say that CAH18 has a higher polarizability and thus has uh, greater attractive forces between its molecules. But it's asking us for which substance has the highest vapor pressure at a given temperature. So since CAH18 has higher attractive forces, the molecules are going to want to stay together down in the liquid phase rather than escaping out into the open air. So since CH4 has lower attract attractive forces, it's going to be the one with the highest vapor pressure.